Mike with Standard Time with Ray White of Scout West, the developers of Standard Time, and we're answering your questions about how to use Standard Time just a little bit more efficiently. How you doing, Ray? All right. So we got a question okay. of someone who has all these projects that need to start one after another because right. they're all linked together. How do we do that within Standard Time? Okay, so you're probably talking about tasks. You have one task that has to start only when the other one has completed, kind of cool. like a a house with a foundation or something. Where you yeah. can't do the, the mm -hmm. roofing until you have a foundation and, a, right. and some framing and so on. Right, right. yeah. So those it. tasks have to, to end before another one starts. Correct. Okay, let's switch over to the screen. I'm going to show you uh, real quick how that's done. I'm going to click on the Project Tasks tab. I've got the Gantt chart displayed just so that you can see the uh, graphical representation of these tasks. And I'm going to be working on these two right here. So you see these bars. I'm going to go over and just uh, select these two tasks, okay? So I'm going to right-click on those, choose Link Tasks, okay? And so what I've done here is just linked them. Now you can see that this task cannot start until this one ends. You see a couple of icons over here that show that those are linked, and that's really all you have to do. So you've just made a lot of people's lives easier, <laughs> more organized. It's, it's a good thing. Sure, absolutely. That's awesome. Go yeah. to the website and download it if you haven't. You're not going to regret it. Let us know what you think. If you have more questions, submit them there, and we'll answer them right here on the Land of the Interwebs. We'll catch you next time. See ya.